How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com and today I want to talk about five things that will keep you drinking when you want to stop. Sorry about the sound out here today. I'm going to try and cut out most of this, but we've got a lot of societal activity. The first thing that's going to stop you from quitting drinking alcohol is you and the blame game. You know, you're blaming everything. You're blaming people around you. You're blaming your environment. You're blaming the time. You're blaming the air. You're blaming whatever it is that comes forward. You're blaming that you can't do it. You know, it's not the right time to do it. It's not the right moment to do it. You've got too many problems at this time. You've got too much stress. You've got too much worry. You can't relax. It's all bullshit. It's all excuses. You can't blame the environment. You can't blame other people. Everyone's got their own life. Everyone's got their own things to do. Everyone's got their own problems. You know, I used to blame so much. I used to say, well, these are my friends and all my friends drink. This is where I go to relax at the end of a hard day. I used to blame my job and say my job was too stressful, you know, and that was how I ended up my day was relaxing. I used to blame my life. I used to blame the fact that my wife died. I used to blame the fact that I was a single parent. I used to blame so many different things. And it wasn't that I, you know, immediately put out there that I was to blame or these things were to blame, but it was just an excuse. You know, that was the reason why I used to drink. That was the reason why I used to drink. You know, that kept me revolving around that moderation lifestyle for so, so long because it, I always thought that alcohol was a part of who I was. Alcohol was a part of my core as a person. And if only I could cut back on, al on the alcohol and not drink as much, I'd be okay. But it's a lie. It's bullshit. And it's something that will hold you back over and over and over again. Which brings me on to the second thing, which are your thoughts. You know, this should be really up there on the top because no matter what else happens, it's all in your thoughts. Your thoughts are the things that control everything else, you know. And people stop drinking and they say to themselves, I want to stop drinking now. I said it to myself so many times as well. Like I say, the moderation thing, it was a trick that I played on my own mind. When you start drinking first, you're young. You can tolerate a lot more than you can when you get older. So maybe the hangover is just a fuzzy feeling in the morning. But as you get older, your body gets more sensitive to the... Uh, consequences of drinking alcohol the hangover gets worse you know your sleeping gets worse you wake up in the morning not rested you wake up feeling horrible and that hangover just extends into the day and maybe into the second day and the more you do it maybe even into the third day and eventually it just becomes one big hangover you're trying to cure the hangover so you know that there's something wrong with what you're doing because from day one your body rejects the alcohol as soon as you drink it you know your body wants to throw it back up again so you know that there's something wrong fundamentally wrong with it and there's a conflict inside your mind all the time and you use your thoughts to push down those the realistic uh, parts of the drinking you know what's actually happening and you make excuses for them so you and your thoughts are number two number three are you and your actions at the end of the day your actions are the thing that follows through in your thoughts your actions are the thing that keeps this addiction going keeps the habit building up and building up the other one that picks up the glass time and again you're the one that puts it to your lips and you're the one that takes sip after sip after sip you're the one that builds the addiction you're the only one who can put that stuff into your mouth and you're the only one who can stop doing it you know and at the end of the day stopping drinking alcohol is all about just reversing that one simple action stopping that one simple action you know if you don't do that if you never do that again you've quit drinking alcohol and there's nothing more to quitting drinking alcohol than that you know there's a whole lot more to changing who you were and changing your mindset and changing the way you think about alcohol changing the way you think about yourself and your life so that you don't want to drink again that's a different story but the actual quitting drinking alcohol is only based around that one fundamental thing don't put the alcohol into your mouth so number three is you and your actions. Number four is you and your attitude. Attitude is everything. You know, if you don't like something in your life, you change it. If you can't change it, you change your attitude towards it. That's the old maxim. Um, and as I said, you are the only one that can change, that can possibly change the fact that you're putting alcohol into your mouth. If you want to stop drinking alcohol, don't put it in. But we have this attitude about alcohol. You know, it's going to stop us from doing things. It's going to stop us from um, having fun. You know, the fear of missing out is one of the big things that uh, drives people back to the alcohol later on. You know, you can have that pain in the initial period that will get you across the line and, you know, you stop drinking for a while. But once that pain is gone, what's to keep you stopping in the long term? You know, your attitude. 
you know, your attitude, if you say to yourself, I don't care what it takes. I don't care what I have to change in my life. I'm never going back to that old life. Then guess what? You know, guess what will happen? If you have the attitude of, oh, I'm missing out on something and why can they drink and I can't drink, you know? Why can they do this and I can't do that? It's just a simple fact of life. You know, you hear people all the time looking at, pointing to this person over here and going, well, look how skinny she is and she eats what she wants, you know? You don't know what she eats. You know, it's just an attitude. It's uh, an excuse to look at something else and blame something else out of your side and say somebody else has got something better than you have. Um, so number four is you and your attitude. Number five is you and your responsibility. That responsibility um, in order to make sincere, long-term, lasting changes in your life, you have to take responsibility for everything that you do. You know, you have to say, well, no matter what happens in my life, the response, the ability to respond is mine. How I respond is up to me. Do you know what I mean? Um, if something goes wrong in my life, it's my fault. It's my responsibility to look at that and to see how I can alter things around. If something goes right in my life, it's my responsibility to look at that and see how I can replicate that. But it all comes down to you and 100% responsibility. If you take 1% off that and you have 99% responsibility, that 1% is enough to um, turn your back on something and make an excuse about something. So you have to look at it from that perspective all the time. So at the end of the day, no matter what way you look at this, everything that stops you from drinking alcohol is down to you. So all those five things, they're all down to you. You know, nobody else outside of yourself. It's what's inside that matters. You know, any change is going to come from the inside, uh, not from the outside. Now, that's the problem with drinking alcohol is that we're looking for a solution outside of ourselves for something that's going on inside. And we need to be looking inside ourselves for the solution, but we don't. That's the problem with instant gratification is we're always looking for a solution outside. You get people going to the doctors and they've got so much of a big problem in their lives because of their lifestyle, because they're not eating the right food, because they're not exercising, because they're um, drinking and smoking and doing all these things. And they expect the doctor to be able to give them a magic pill to cure everything. You know, it's not going to happen like that. Nothing from the outside is going to cure what's going on on the inside. You need to do that yourself. So if you want my help to stop drinking alcohol, there is a link down below you can click. I've got a free book for you. It's called 10 Steps to Stopping Drinking Alcohol. There's a lot of great information in there. Um, like I say, click on the link down below and uh, you can get started on that straight away. So take care of yourself. I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Onwards and upwards. Bye now.